Welcome back. Joining us in studio is friend of the show, Chef Jeremy Connor. Welcome back. Thanks so much. It's always great to be here. I love having you, and you have a really fun event. You're not cooking today. Not today. You have a fun event to share. That's right. Preparing to cook on Thursday night. We have a, a ticketed event, uh, like a wine dinner. Oh, fun. Um, and it's with an organization called Pete and Pearls, which is a roving supper club, if you will, across the south, based in Pensacola, where I'm from. Okay. Um, but it's an organization that seeks to promote culinary storytelling in local settings with special oh, event wow. dinners. Um, so we're hosting one this Thursday night at the John Nickerson House on Sterling Street, downtown Lafayette. And um, tickets are available if you go to PeteAndPearls.com. That's P-E-A-T, as in it refers to Scotch whiskey. So. Okay. Um, but the dinner is going to focus on farm-raised oysters. It'll be five courses, each paired with its oh, own wow. wine, so seven it's wines be total. Yeah, it'll be great. And you're cooking for this. That's right. That's so right. people will know they're going to get some good food whenever <laughs> Chef Jeremy Connor is back there cooking. Why is it so important? You said you're focusing on local farm-raised oysters. Why is it so important that this is your focus for that night? Well, I love to feature farm-raised oysters whenever I can, especially um, Gulf of Mexico farm-raised oysters. It's a, an oyster raising technique that's been going on around the world and especially on the East Coast for, for years and years and has uh, kind of grown into prominence mm -hmm. in the Gulf of Mexico now. Um, and the oysters have all of the, the great things that everyone loves about raw oysters. Yeah. Um, with the added benefits that um, are far more sustainable to bring to market this way. Um, they can replenish wild beds just mm -hmm. by raising farm-raised oysters in the same waters. And like I said, you get all the other benefits. Like my favorite thing about oysters in general is that when you eat a raw oyster, it tastes exactly like that moment that it was pulled mm -hmm. from that very specific place in the water. Oh, so that's you get cool. That, you get that beautiful ethereal experience about the Gulf of Mexico that I love. I love that. And I love that that's the focus for Thursday. It is ticketed. So I'm guessing people can't get tickets at the door. They need them ahead nope, of time. You need to buy them ahead of time. What's that website so people can go and get their tickets now? It is PeteAndPearls.com. And if you go to that website, click on events. And there's a lot of events there, but you'll find the one with uh, my, my face on it. And what are you most looking forward to for Thursday night? Um, well, actually, that's a great question because these types of events happened with great frequency here in Lafayette and all over the South. Um, and then the pandemic kind of put mm -hmm. a hold on a lot of that kind of stuff. And so now we're finally starting to get back into the swing of things and of offering uh, people that are interested great experiences like this. I'm so excited for you guys. Really fast. One more time so we can go get those tickets. What's that website? PeteAndPearls.com. Awesome. Jeremy, thank you so much for thank stopping you. by. Of course, if you at home want to get your tickets, head to our website, klaf.com. We'll have a direct link. Make it easy for you, but stay with us. We'll be right back after this.